I have a solar system, power goes down in the, in the middle of the day, in the summertime, for whatever reason. They're doing maintenance, taking trees down, and the power gets shut down. Do I still have power at my house? That depends on what type of system that you have. So that question is a little bit involved. Um, typically the answer is no, okay. and it's a safety issue. Uh, the, the, we don't want to have the solar sending electricity back onto what are considered dead lines. The, so you, the utility knows the power has gone down and the, this neighborhood does, no longer has power. But the one person in the neighborhood, for example, might have solar, they're pushing power back onto the lines and then someone gets injured. Now, that's happened in the past, unfortunately. And so the solar cannot be producing, cannot be sending power back onto lines that are dead. What do I need to do as a homeowner to make sure the power is not being sent back to the grid when the power does go down and I, I am producing power in, in my solar system? As a homeowner, you need, to, you need to find a reputable installer, okay. a licensed contractor, and they will make sure that the power, that they're 100% code compliant. And that means, in addition to all the other safety issues, that means they're ensuring that they're code compliant and they're not sending any power back that your system isn't sending back power back to the grid. So then does that happen at the time of installation or do they have to come out? I have to call, call them up and say, hey, you need to come out and there's no power in the neighborhood. I need you to, to fix it. Or do, is that something we're able to build in on the front end when we install the solar system? Yeah, actually us as installers and homeowners, we really don't need to worry about that. As installers, if we install according to the manufacturer's specifications, that safety is built into the system. So we don't need to come out and install an automatic transfer. We don't need to come out and shut the system down. The homeowner doesn't need to worry about it. It's all integrated into the okay. system. Some manufacturers call it remote islanding, where they'll take and utilize all of that power that's being generated and not basically turn the switch over to PG&E or your power utility at that point. They pretty much dead switch that. Safety is anti-islanding in, in the, the language is islanding because there's, there's a, a system that you can create. It's an off-grid solar system that essentially creates a power island. So when the grid goes down, you can have power independent of the grid. Okay. And, but that's a little bit involved. It does require a backup power supply, typically a battery bank. And it also requires that that, that shutoff system is in place so that the, the, the battery's producing, your home, is, so your home still has power, the utility is down, and you're not sending power back to the grid.